Well, this is different. You thought I was just going to do reviews on movies and TV shows. But no, you're wrong. I'm actually going to do reviews on toys. So this is the Hammond Collection Giganotosaurus, which I have been waiting for for over a week now. This will be my first ever toy review on the channel, and I'm glad I got to start up with this dinosaur. But what is the Hammond Collection, you may ask? Well, the Hammond Collection is a collection of dinosaurs made by the company Mattel, making collector's items for Jurassic fans. I've collected a lot of these dinosaurs over the years, and I've finally got my hands on the Giganotosaurus, which I'm pretty sure will become very rare by now. So, let's get it out the box and see what it looks like. But first, I haven't seen many other people do this, but let's look at the box. The Hammond Collection boxes tend to come in this type of square and rectangle format, with the um, gray representing a cage. On the back of the box, you can see all the information about the dinosaur and all the cool shots they made for promotional art. They really did a good job with these boxes. But now, let's get this thing out of the packaging and unleash it on the world. To save you the trouble of watching me struggle to get this thing out of the box for about 3 minutes, I'm going to fast forward to where I have it out of the box. So here he is, in all of her glory. I'm not sure if Giga is a he or a her in the movie, but whatever. Right out of the packaging, this feels really nice to touch. That sounds weird, but anyway. Along with you feeling every single scale and piece of skin on her body, you can also see that it's painted excellently. The best painted Giganotosaurus we have ever had, because it's the only other one. The teeth are made of rubber, which means that you can roughhouse with it as much as you want, rub its teeth against any other dinosaur, and it won't stain its paint. That's one of my pet peeves I've had with all of my dinosaurs. But something I'm a little more mixed about is the glass eye. Most of the big creatures of the Hammond Collection have this glass eye in them. The reason it's in there in the first place is to give the illusion that it's looking at you wherever you go. However, some people don't like it because at some angles it breaks the illusion and makes it look like it has no pupil at all. I personally don't mind it, however I wouldn't be too fussed if they changed it in future di big dinosaurs like Spinosaurus. Another thing that seems to be missed a lot is painting the dew claws and fingernails, in some cases even toenails. Mattel seems to skip out in painting toenails and fingernails in a lot of their dinosaurs, which kind of sucks since um, some of these dinosaurs are really popular, yet they don't even have their freaking toenails painted. I'm glad that all digits on this Giganotosaurus were painted. Time for articulation. The first part of the tail is full of bendy wire, which means it can be posed in many realistic positions, making it look much more real. Some people may not like bendy wire because it could snap easily, however, it feels really good on mine. It can also be turned 360 degrees along with the other base of the tail. Its legs can be rotated a full 360 degrees, surprising for such a big animal. Every other part of the leg is also on a hinge joint, which means you can like rotate them up and down and even rotate them sideways. Unlike the T-Rex, there is no waist articulation, which is kind of disappointing since the actual first Giganotosaurus actually had waist articulation even though it was built into a horrible action feature. I mean, I guess I get it because of the spikes. The arms can also be rotated a full 360 degrees. They can also be pulled in and out. Um, the the um, lower arm can be pulled this amount far and this amount backwards. They can be rotated, and along with the hands too. The head can be rotated too, full 360 degrees all around. It can be moved left and right, up and down, admittedly not going that far up and down and the jaw can open to free clicks and the tongue is on a click joint so now we get on to comparisons here he is next to the hammock collection ankylosaurus hammock collection carnotaurus and rexy herself the hammock collection t-rex the giga is quite bigger than rexy in overall and i kind of like that since it is quote unquote the biggest carnivore the world has ever seen which is a lie spinosaurus is bigger however there is one more comparison i want to do this thing. This was the original Giganotosaurus from the Jurassic World Dominion toy line. From the main line, not the Hammond Collection line, which actually has quality. The original toy line still had some really cool dinosaurs and really cool designs. However, 
This Giganotosaurus is one of their worst dinosaurs they have ever made. The painting was good for its time, however this Giga blew the original one out of the water. Its head is horrible, it looks like a frog from the front face. Its action feature, feature is abysmal, yet you go, if you push a button on the back, admittedly feeling really nice with the rubber, and it just moves its head left and right and stuff in a weird motion, which makes it very hard to pose for cool shots. The open and closed mouth feature is on its butt for some reason. I'm not sure why it put it there. Why not just put it like behind the tail or on the tail? And it is tiny compared to most of the other dinosaurs. This thing sucks. So what are my thoughts on it? I think it is an absolutely worthwhile addition to your collection. It has great posability. Its design is top tier. It is extremely long, actually being the biggest carnivore. And it blows the original one out of the water more like out of the ocean actually I, I can't recommend this enough and get it while you can because this thing is incredibly popular and it'll go out of stock quick see you later gabriel dylan signing off